Here we have footage captured digitally to 422 on Beacon's Media 100. However, since the Media 100 utilizes a proprietary capture codec for video that it digitizes and edits, the video data has to be exported from the system in order for it to be used anywhere else other than in Media 100. This process introduces another level of compression that harms the quality of the video. As you can see, the sharpness of the key is improved to a certain degree over the 411 footage, and the chroma color spill can be removed with greater accuracy than the switcher, but upon more critical inspection, finer detail, such as in between hair strands, gets lost and the keying program gets confused. It appears as if the video is clumping together, an undesirable effect of the compressed video pixels being averaged together. Now let us look at video footage that was shot in uncompressed 444. Notice that the green screen is also imperfectly lit with pockmarks and wrinkles in the fabric as it sometimes is at Beacon. Yet, despite these flaws and applying the same keying parameters as the footage shot at Beacon, a flawless key can be pulled from the video footage. This is due to the fact that the image has all the color depth information required for the computer to make a clean mat. It also helps that the footage was shot as progressive video frames and not interlaced. Defielding or deinterlacing video to produce solid edges can introduce data loss or incorrect edges that interfere with the quality of the mat. Notice the 444 footage not only keys well, but the color and shadow information is richer and more saturated, unlike the washed out colors of the video footage that has been compressed. The compressed video can be resaturated, but only up to a certain point, where the artifacting present in the compression makes the video appear blocky and grainy. Again, side by side, perceptually, they appear relatively the same, but the computer can mathematically distinguish between colors that the human eye cannot. These colors are critical in allowing the video graphics department to pull keys in post that provide Beacon with the flexibility to introduce false digital camera moves, synchronized animation, and more believable, seamless composites that would otherwise be impossible utilizing only the gear presently available in the switcher, or in video that has been compressed via the DV cam process we presently utilize. Ultimately, keying should be accomplished in post-production on a show such as Real-Time Science Connections to provide cleaner keys, unlimited flexibility, and creative freedom. We hope we have answered all of your questions regarding the chroma key process. Thank you.